All right. Good morning. So today we're gonna try some stuff. I went ahead and got some uh, casting resin and a pressure pot. I went and found some cactus this morning, some old dried up cactus that I'm gonna try some of this Pearlex powder and see if I can't come up with something cool with that. Um, probably another bottle stopper. Uh, not long did a pen uh, with the same same cactus and uh, I used turquoise fill. So let's get this mixed up to a one to one ratio. I don't want a whole lot of powder in there I don't think. So we're just going to do just a tad. Look at that. Whoa. Put you in there. All right, well, I forgot I was filming this one, so uh, I got it out. Got the uh, cup part turned off. Got it flat and just continuing to turn. I don't have my face shield on because my boy's over there turning. I don't know how Peter Brown does this all the time. This is some messy stuff. Confetti! It's confetti! What's confetti? I want to get just barely to the wood. Alright, so sanding and buffing, um, I found, I found that if you start with like a 200 grit, you know, if, if your cuts aren't really smooth and, uh, it needs some work, 220, um, works pretty well cutting it down, it's pretty smooth, um, and then progress all the way up to 1200, and then use a, just the diamond, the white diamond buffing wheel. It works great. Now I've tried it with this uh, high gloss plastic polish, and I mean it. It works. It works fine for for colored, um, and I don't have the 
the clear ones but when you're doing ultra clear or the water clear um, the the white diamond works a lot a lot better yeah just don't don't start too harsh um, if you start with like a hundred grit it's gonna take forever to get those scratches out hope you found that that uh, entertaining if you will useful useful information so be sure to like share and subscribe and uh, as always have a wonderful day